Guess what, guys? What? We're on Spotify! <laughs> we on there. I love Spotify. It's where I create all my playlists. It's where you can follow my playlists. But more importantly, it's where you can find our podcast, Tiger Belly. Yeah. So think about it. It's Kanye West. Uh, uh, all other bands. And then Tiger Belly. <laughs> It's just Kanye and Tiger Belly. Tiger, That's Kanye all. and Tiger Belly. So open the app on mobile or desktop, click on the browse channel, then click on the podcast section. Tiger Belly. Find us on there. Follow. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. one. Hello. Blast off. Yo, my name is Bobby Lee. Oh, no, 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 um, my dog there, Gobo. Hi, Gobo. I thought it was me. Yeah, yeah. Her. And I have my other dog here, Coloco, <laughs> Kalila. We got Gilbert. We got George. We got Bryce. And um, we have a a guest here. And then before you don't even say anything until I bring your name up, okay? <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, there was a little bit of sabotage because I wanted this guy before my brother, and um. All of a sudden, my brother Stevie Weeby had him as a guest, and um, mm. I felt a little bit of a Shakespearean betrayal. I understand that their relationship, you know, they have a relationship. They've known each other for 10 years or whatever, but still, I feel like I'm still the bigger name. <laughs> I, I really believe that. I, mean, you I think, are the bigger name. I think nationally, I think I might be. You know, people on, on, on YouTube and people on the internet and they go, Stevie Weeby's the fu funnier brother. <laughs> yeah. Nah. All right. Fuck it. All right, I love my brother. But we've got, um, how about a round of applause for Jonathan Park, everybody? <laughs> Give him a round of applause. Jo Jonathan Park, um, better known as Dumbfounded. Yeah. Yeah, What's Dumbfounded. Not Jonathan in the house. Well, Jonathan's in the house, right? Jonathan. I refuse to call you Dumbfounded. Oh, no, it's all good. I mean, I refuse to acknowledge myself as Dumbfounded at 32. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, like, I just hit that. Yeah, raw, point, raw. Where nicknames are kind of like. It's uh, weird. It's, it is weird. Is, so people call you dumb? They do. What else do they call you? Uh, Just John or dumb, pretty much. What, dummy. Dummy. what about people? dummy? No, 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 no. Just, I can't call you dummy? No, if, my mom's trying to, <laughs> if my mom's trying to be cute, she'll be like, hi, dummy. Like, oh, she'll that's say funny. That, yeah. You know, but like, I actually, two years ago, I almost did like a name change thing. Cause I was like going through, like I was like, do I want to be a thirty year old like dumbfounded? <laughs> you know, like, what were like, you? Yeah. What were you thinking? I, I actually did try it. Like I pushed it hard. Like what I was, was it? It was Parker. Parker. Oh, that's a good name. It's like Parker. Legit. I literally went off pretty much off my last name, Park. Yeah. I was like, I'm gonna make it white, and I was like, Park. Park. <laughs> that, that wasn't the reason, but I just, yeah, that's yeah. kind of I wanted yeah. like a real name kind of situation nickname. Yeah. So I went for Parker, and then my fans was like, No, you're dumbfounded. Like they would not let me change <laughs> wow. it. What other Whoa. names have you gone by in the past, or what other like? It's uh, literally since I was 14, dumbfounded mm. was like my rap name. Mm. Uh. And then like two, three years ago, like I went through that. I was like, Oh man, I gotta, I gotta do something about this you know i don't know if i could pop off as a dumbfounded you know so i tried uh parker and i made stickers and t-shirts and everything i, I got like, one i was going hard what what is it t-u-l what's that T -U -L. thin upper lip <laughs> <laughs> yo you know yo, what? you got the thinnest thinnest yo. upper lip i've ever seen yeah. no <laughs> no one has pointed out my thin upper lip yeah. in rap except battle. you ever <laughs> me like like when I see my pictures and shit, I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I got a thin upper lip. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'll notice it, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no one has ever, like, pointed that out except yeah. you. Like, you do ever. know why? I, I, I respect you. Right. But I ain't afraid. <laughs> okay, I'm not. I know you bring game. I know that you have followers, that right? Was, but let me tell you something. That my was little, a weird thing. What I just did? No, what you just pointed out. Like, God, no one's pointed that out. Yeah. And I've, like, like acknowledged it. I'm like, yeah, I'm yeah. Not yeah. Not no, it's a good, no, it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. I just right. noticed it. Okay. You know, 
Are you a, are you offended? Wait, n- no, 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 were, got, no. No one called that out. <laughs> no one has ever called that out in one of your rap battles. No, like I mean that's he a really spe- <laughs> it's a specific thing to point no, out. I'm, like, I'm noticing it now, but it's very thin. First of all, that doesn't sound like a, a hard thing. Like if you're like trying to attack me, <laughs> and you notice that, that's yeah. not gangster or hard. It's Yo, not it's like not? your upper lip is tiny, motherfucker. <laughs> no one's gonna go like. No one's gonna go like. Oh, they're just gonna be like, why are you noticing shit like that? Why is Bo- like, why is Bobby? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No one's gonna be like, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> thin ass up a lip. Look at that thin ass. Okay, no. They're just gonna be like, why does he notice things like yeah, that? Yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. just a, you know. I have a weird thing like that. I, I notice different mm. things. Like, I saw Chris D'Elia earlier today, and he has like 15 veins on his right temple. <laughs> Dude, it's some, some, there's like, it's his skin is translucent up here. So when he gets angry, you see these veins pop up. And I always go, that's fucking weird. (laughs) And he goes, why do you notice that? And I go, I don't know. I just do. Yeah. You know, like I I notice boils. I notice freckles. Mm -hmm. I'm a big freckle man myself. (laughs) Those aren't freckles on your face. Those are liver spots. Did I fuck, bitch? Did I just, (laughs) did I just, where the fuck did George go? He's getting a charger. Bitch, did I say that I, I, I <laughs> counted my own freckles on my face? No, because I thought you were trying to pass your liver spots for... No, I freckles. already fake, bitch. I already said... <laughs> yo, never heard yo, of yo, dog. I don't got liver spots on my face. In case you want to wonder about it. What are you on? <laughs> I, think he's tu- I think he's turning up the hip-hop game. Like I think it's because your hair. Well, but... if you don't know, if you're not familiar with Urban Bob... <laughs> yo, what's up, dog? Oh, shit. This is, a, this is a thing uh, he does. Raise the roof, oh, dog. <laughs> so it's get jiggy so with bad. it. It's so um, get jiggy with it. <laughs> uh, pretty good, God. huh? To the left, to the I, right. I, I've That's noticed not, like he close gets the door. Introduced to like a new slang word like every episode. Oh, like, right. I, I've, I've seen that thing happen. Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, yeah. my I'm sorry, guys. I know I'm an old man, and I know that. Nah, man, I'm, I'm washed too, bro. You are? Yeah, I'm washed too. What does it wash me? You see, like I knew that was gonna come. Like I feel yeah, like I know, <laughs> what, what does wash me? I mean, washed is just like washed up. You know what I mean? Oh, wow. Like, well, like, I, like if people in hip hop, if you're just well, like, you know, share like old school views and stuff, right. just be like, I'm washed. Oh, you know that's a I new, mean? Th- write, it, write it down. Like, that's washed. new terminology we're learning. Take out the word I was, up. Okay. Like in hip hop, when you're like 30, you're pretty much washed. Mm-hmm. Right. You know what I mean? Because it's like a youth driven industry. All right, give me a slang like, that I wouldn't hear, and then I'm going to say, I'm, uh, say, somebody say something. Like, hey, have you heard of this? And I'm going to say something. Go ahead. Have you heard of washed? No, I was gonna say I'm washed. <laughs> oh, you're right. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't work. Okay. Right there. That doesn't work. Yeah, yeah, do yeah. that. Do that one. <laughs> yeah. Hey, have you heard of washed? Nah, man, I'm washed. <laughs> Wait, it doesn't make, doesn't make any <laughs> sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it makes yeah. no sense. You know what, dude? You gotta go back to improv classes. Hey, have you heard of bump and grind? Oh, shit, man. I don't know about that. I'm washed. <laughs> that, does that work? No, because bump and grind is like an old school thing yeah. so you wouldn't be R. washed Kelly. understanding that you know what I mean why <laughs> bump and grind is already washed mm-hmm. you know that's what not, I mean no to me it's fresh he's still oh. fresh <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing it's, you know what here's what yeah, that's, that's, that's just like, really washed if I, I mean, how about this what if I was like I was frozen no, I'll give you an example, <laughs> right, right? Right, right, right. Let's say Bobby Lee was an anar- anar- doing my hike, one of my hiking expeditions. <laughs> the ones you do every summer. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And avalanche comes on top of me, right? right? I freeze, right? <laughs> and then 40 years later, they find a way to defrost my body, yeah. right? I awaken, right? And then they say, yo, you know about bump and grind? And then I could say, I washed. Well, they would have to introduce you to the word washed first. Yeah. And then you would use it referring oh, to some old fuck, shit, right? I fucked it up. Right? Yeah. Oh, I fucked it all up. All right, well, then I'm not washed. Right. <laughs> okay. I understand yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. I no, no, no. If, if you were like a young kid in the future and you went back in time yeah. and That's then a better you used one. it, then wow. that would work. Then that would work. Damn, what would it work. It yeah, would yeah. work. Yeah, yeah. So that's new terminology. Who makes these up? Man, I, honestly, like, I pretty much just learned that, too. Like, I'm pretty washed, too. So, you know, it's like <laughs> yeah, yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But I was like, oh, this is something, like, I could say about myself, you know? Yeah. Like, just roast myself. How about this? The last year, what are some new th- terminology this last year? I want to see if I've heard of them. This past year? Yeah. I don't know if there's... When did woke happen? Oh, that was like two, <laughs> three years ago. I don't ago. like using woke. I know, me Woke either. is already it's just, washed. It's, it's yeah, woke. Yeah. Yeah. That's washed. That's washed. That's yeah. washed. Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. not washed to be woke, but the word woke and using it is... 
watch. Well, like woke is considered kind of corny at this point yeah. too. You yeah. Know what I mean, like. Okay, I just like, learned it, but okay. Like if we said woke, in, <laughs> if we said woke in front of black people, they'd be like, Psh. yeah. You know, oh like, right. I, I, think, I think it's just kind of corny, you know. Yeah. On the how about um, lit. Oh my God, that's so. Lit, honest, lit, that's lit white. Is the, that's white culture now. Lit's been around forever, and it's still being used. Yeah, it's almost. I feel like is it just like part of the vocab vocab yeah. now? Yeah, it you stays. know what I'm saying. Yeah, like, I don't know. I think it might. Just I stay. don't even know how to use it. I mean, yeah, yeah. Anything can be anything. lit, though. It's lit. You can say a party's lit. You can say food is lit. I was taking everything. a bath, man. It was lit. Yeah, you yeah, can say it could that. Be. It could have been a lit bath. Yeah, it, when's, when is a bath a lit bath? Hey, when you enjoy I, it, when it was just amazing. <laughs> Extra that bubbles. Is, that is when it just got input into like regular terminology when people started using it like that. Yeah. Like, damn, that quiche is lit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Then right. everybody was like, oh, this shit is just everywhere. Can now. a negative thing be lit? Like, um... Oh man, I was at that party that night, and then um, I don't know, I p passed out, and I was in an alleyway, and a black guy was fucking me in the ass. It was lit. No, if no, you what, enjoyed it. Well, yeah, no, what, it was, I didn't enjoy it. I didn't enjoy what, what it. I hated it. It was doing, lit. What people, what people would do is some shit that like you kind of like it was obviously terrible. Uh, yeah, but you don't want to admit it was like you kind of liked it. Yeah, so it'd be like, oh man. Bro, I woke up, I was in the alley, but it was kind of lit. <laughs> like, oh, you just, oh, just pop up, like, it was kind of lit. Oh, it was kind of lit. lit. Kinda. Yeah, yeah. I, I hear that a lot. Yeah. It's kind of lit, you know, just. Let me ask you something, um, Jonathan Park. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan Park. Um, My middle name you, is worse, actually. What What's your it? middle name? Uh, okay, I don't know why I set myself up for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is your middle uh, name? It's Edgar. Oh, it's oh, my dad's that, name. Oh, oh my. It's Edgar. Uh, I love that name. It's just a weird, like, is that a Edgar Jonathan is... Edgar Park. But that that's, like, a I really mean? strong Korean FBI thing? name. Uh, I, no, my, I was born in Argentina. Yeah, he oh, was. Yeah. And you were smuggled. <laughs> I was. Oh, yeah. wait, you were smuggled? Th like, yeah, yeah, my I mom, like, smuggled me and my little sister through through the Mexican border. Wow. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop, stop. From yeah. Argentina to, to Mexico. Mexico. And then to L.A. Then Mexico to it L.A. It must have been much easier if you were... Asian because you can like jump on trees, <laughs> right, and rooftops. Well, she was that's juggling lit. two that's babies. Pretty lit, that's pretty lit. Yeah. That's pretty lit. Or, that, or am I washed? <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Who knows? Know. We don't know anymore. No one knows anymore. Never thought you could use these <laughs> yeah. words in this yeah. conversation. Oh, I'm going to be using lit, right. watch, all, right. all that stuff. <laughs> so your your mom, two babies, you or you were one of the babies. Yeah. Was your dad there? No, 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 no. So my dad. I don't know the full story, but my dad first came to LA on his own, like mm. to establish like his thing. You know what I mean, like to set up shop or something. Yeah. And then my dad sent back money from my mom to get snuck in through the coyotes, the guys who yeah, like yeah, sneak yeah. them in through the Mexican border. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, me, my little sister, who was one, and I was three. He wasn't nervous. That I'm was sure gonna work was. out. I mean, I, he probably just thought like he, it was a dangerous thing. I don't know how like what my dad was thinking. You know, what I mean? yeah, like, it's just a service. <laughs> like he just, I don't know <laughs> right. if, he, if right. he thought it was like a safe thing or you know. Oh. But uh, yeah, so m how my mom explains because I was too young, you know. So my mom kind of explained to me that whole journey, and she said it was mad scary. Like, she said, wow. how did they end up in Argentina to begin with? So my mom's side, like when she was like fifteen, my her parents moved to Argentina to like just there was a huge immigration of mm. like Asian people to South right. America. And then my dad in his early twenties went alone just for like business. Mm. They met, had sex and it had, had us pretty mm. much. That, right. That's pretty much Are they still together? No, nah, they split up as soon as they got to America. They're like, Oh, we're allowed to divorce. Okay, cool. Oh, <laughs> oh really? Oh. Yeah, yeah. I mean I mean not like super early, but when I was like twelve. Oh, uh, would it break you or no? Huh? Did it break your heart? Oh yeah. I mean honestly like just my childhood, I don't remember like a happy moment between them two. Like, they mm. fought, like, every, all the time in the household. It was, like, you know, just, they didn't have a good, you know, relationship. I always wondered, like, how they ended up together. You yeah. know what I mean? And then when they split, that's when everything kind of got better for everybody. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, so you lived with your mom? Uh, I was, like, back and forth. Oh. Uh, yeah. Hangul mal heo? Uh, they chale. Jumal? Huh? Hangul mal Chale? Chale. Oh. <laughs> I almost didn't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so bad because I'm so bad. No, no, no. I yeah, mean, yeah. I, I'm decent. I'm not great either. And yeah. I feel kind of uncomfortable still when I use it. Yeah. Like, I, I felt a little uncomfortable right there. Yeah. Oh, you did? That tells me that Let I'm me not, say, like, say some super things. Like, I want to see where you're at. I want to see where you're at. It's the body Yeah, yeah yo, yo, what's up? Um, <laughs> that was yo. Nah. Go to Joko, man. What'd I say? You say your dick is small. I that's got a, that. And that's a fact. Yeah. That's a fact. <laughs> and that's real. It's just. Right? Oh, there's another one. Facts. Facts. What, oh, what's, that, what's that mean? When you say something. No, it's just like, this is like a slang for like facts. That, you know, when you really agree with something, 
You know, it'd be like okay, I'll, 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 okay. Let's just, let's <laughs> you say something, and I want to see if I can say say something. Yo, Wingstop got the best hot wings. <laughs> Yo, facts. <laughs> no, facts. That's if you were like really excited, like you uh, like someone said something like Yo, you would really agree with. Yo, facts. <laughs> like that? Are you crying? <laughs> no, but you know what I mean. <laughs> no, there's a way you say that one though. Yeah, you gotta say it like you're putting a period on. Oh, it. how about I say facts. something, right? Okay. Man, that guy's dick was delicious. <laughs> Fast. Fast. <laughs> That's how you say it? <laughs> that, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Question Fast. mark? That, that Question would really mark? work like if I thought his dick was delicious, I'd be like, Yeah, Fast? that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Just be in the scene. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I no, said you, it. You didn't, I said, you didn't right, commit right, to it, right? right now right. we gotta do this all right, again. So I'm gonna say it again. All right, right uh, sound speed. Yeah, Rolling yeah, and uh, action. action. Yeah, man. So I was sucking that guy's dick and his cum tasted like fucking vanilla milkshakes. Yo, <laughs> facts. And yeah, scene, and great. Scene. Gonna... <laughs> that was good. That yeah, one take. Good. Yeah, thank you. Vanilla Thanks, bean milkshakes. So oh, you grew up in LA? Yeah, Korea time my whole life. Whoa. And so you grew up in LA, and then when did you start, you know, rapping and doing all that stuff in high school? Yeah, but my whole thing was like, I always wanted to be like an actor and comedian. Mm. Like I was a child actor. I was in a PlayStation One commercial. Oh, you were? <laughs> yeah. Can you still see it or no? I, I've been looking for. I can't find. Oh it. yeah, yeah. It's I hard to find. find it. I, I've been like really trying to find it because that's just like a funny thing to flex. You know? Yeah, <laughs> but, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But like that's I, another one. What, what is flex? Yeah. <laughs> no, show, show off. Yeah. What does it mean? Self-explanatory, babe. Show off. You, you're, you're flexing sh- muscle. Yeah, you're showing it off. Write it down. Give me a pen. <laughs> give me a pen. Go get me a pen. <laughs> I, I need a pen. Flex. Give me a pen. Oh, right cash here. and facts. No, no. I'm not done. I'm right here. So what? These are all. I have to write. These are all flex. available at UrbanDictionary.com. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. Flex, <laughs> right? Facts. Lit. Uh, facts. Washed. Facts. Washed. Facts. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 it's wrong. like F A X. Put like fax machine. <laughs> <laughs> fax machine. Yeah. Fax. That's a new one. That's uh, how we've been saying a fax. Yeah, yeah, but it's F A C. No, 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 not, not in my mind. No, no, no. Fax machine. Okay. Yeah. So um, those really... are the four. What? You really thought it was like fax, like fax machine? Who gives machine? a fuck? <laughs> it, all <laughs> gives a fuck. <laughs> it all comes out the same. It's pronounced the same yeah. way. So yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so you're flexing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's continue. You're flexing. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I just, I, I, you know, I was like into like I made my mom like take me to auditions that I found out about. Like oh, I was into it. Wow. You know what I mean, and then because uh, I grew up as on like TV stuff because my parents were always working. I was like like latchkey kid. You know. What right, I mean? right, right. So I was always home. Just grew up on sitcoms and TV shows like that and then um but like early on I wanted to get into acting when I got into high school I was like a stoner you know so I got into right. more music side right you know instead I wasn't like trying to go out to a bitch I was a stoner you know so I got into hip hop and, and I was into like rock bands indie rock bands too so I look like some kid who, who could be like a member of Weezer the way I was dressed but I rapped you wow. know what I mean so yeah I, and I wasn't making songs or anything. I was just freestyling and battling because those things, like, you don't have to, like, record or anything. Yeah. You know, you just hop in and you just freestyle, do whatever, like. So you just learned it in high school, kind of when you were younger, around the environment you were with. Yeah, in. like, I'll go to house parties, you know, kids be freestyling. And, you know, like, it was just like a drunken activity. You know, you'd smoke weed or drink and you freestyle. You impress, like, you know, kids around you and girls around you and stuff. So. That's my main reason that I started was just to impress girls and get That's what free all, weed and alcohol. Dude, the <laughs> whole reason for anyone That's to true. do it is it to is. get pussy. It is. And everybody always asks me, like, you know, because they want to answer, like, oh, dude, that was an Asian American story. I'm like, no, it was to get bitches. <laughs> like, <it was> like, <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? It was like yeah. but early on, and maybe later it could turn into something else, you know, but it's like. Because kids got walk up to me and they go, um, I just want to let you know that, like, you really paved the way for me yeah. and this and that. It's like, I just wanted pussy. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I wasn't trying that to pave nothing. That me all the time. They always ask me those things. I do a lot of like college shows with Asian organizations. Yeah. And they're always asking the same <laughs> questions. You know what I mean? Like they want the same answers out of me. Yeah, but whatever, whatever your drive was, you still put pen to paper and you still made it happen and put the hard work. So whatever your motivation was, it's really irrelevant, right? Like it you is. Still, it your is. craft is your craft and you put the time and effort in the it. The funny thing is, is like early on though, like when I was freestyling and battling, like mm. that craft was actually just me making fun of the other person like yeah. there's nothing right. deep about it it was just like i'm just making fun of you and your mom and, <laughs> yeah, and your yeah. shoes or whatever you but know? You, is it one of those things where because i know in stand when, when it comes to stand-up comedy people go oh that guy is a great improviser or he's right. good with the crowd work mm. right but what i know about the trick is that he already knows 
what to say 99% of the time because of just through trial and error and whatnot. Pre premeditation. Premeditation. Right? Yeah, so right. when you're freestyle rapping, what, how much of it is just out of your head at the moment and how much of it is that? Well, the format kind of changed for battling before it used to be freestyle. So uh -huh. like you go to an event and there'll be a sign up sheet and everybody mm -hmm. signs up and they call like randomly the next two people. Like so you don't know knowing, who you're doing. You, and then that that's when it was like completely off the dome. Wow, that must yeah. be scary. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And you can come up with maybe, you could premeditate like a couple lines that might work on anybody. Well, if you he's know, fat, but, right? Yeah. That you can, you know, <laughs> right, right, right. do that. If he's um a specific right. nationality or race, maybe you can have some pre-stocked Right, thing, right, like right. Like Punjab, you're, exactly. you're from the desert or whatever. Babe, babe calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Someone wants to get to rap battle. Yeah, we're about to get, <laughs> get real racist all of a sudden. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, yeah. And the format changed though, where all of a sudden they started doing these a cappella battles where there was no more beat. You know, now there's uh, no more beat. Why? Know? I like the beat. <laughs> Because I think it made it more like enjoyable yeah. to anybody, you know, because before wow. it was like you have a beat and actually when you don't have a beat, you kind of have more time to think too. Yeah. And you prepare like actually now, like it's not really freestyle anymore. You actually come prepared. Mm. So it's like a boxing match like Manny and pa uh, Pacquiao and uh, Mayweather fighting in a month. So these yeah, two yeah. opponents prepare wow. for each other. See, then that's not really that freestyle. It's not freestyle, it? but it is the battling got better because I remember like now when I watch my old freestyle battles, yeah. they're not as good as I remember it. You know what I mean? Right. I'm like, dude, I was just talking about that guy's shoes for like three minutes, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, but then when you watch the 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 like the like written ones where they prepare for each other, they're like good. You know, you could rewatch it. You know, it's like a oh, roast yeah. battle. Right. You know, all those like roast battles. And That's stuff. a specific kind of talent, dude. I really do say it, mean that. I mean, it. these battlers are like, you know, it is, they're really into it heavy like there's hundreds of leagues across the world now and shit wow russia philippines like china like different languages you know like i i know this one lebanese guy who's considered like one of the top battlers and he's like obsessed like i was doing a movie about battle rap recently and there was a scene where i i was like attacking like another person with asian jokes mm -hmm. like asian battle lines yeah. so i asked this guy who i actually battled in the past i was like yo do you have any lines that you'd never used on me yeah he was like hold, hold on he went through his rolodex where he had like a section for fat people asians <laughs> latinos he just had these the lines jokes, yeah. like all these lines is ready like for whoever he's in a battle yeah. next whoever it wow. could be just a rolodex of just racial you know physical feature jokes is like, there a a line you can't cross Nah, people are mean. And no, I'm there. Like, so there is no line. No, racist. Like no. you can get r racial. You know, just really mean. You get personal. People are pulling out police files and shit. Like, like let's let's say ninety-seven. <laughs> man, right. You right, right, right. sexually assaulted this but like, person. But like one example, let's, oh, let's say I was you know doing it with you, and let's say your dad died from a disease. Oh, for sure. That's and and sure. people go, oh, this, your dad died. I've heard, I, <laughs> I've heard this person yeah, facts. come at somebody about their mentally disabled mom. Oh, oh that's hilarious. Like, go, <laughs> I mean, oh. <laughs> I mean, oh. That was no, so good. That's I the mean. thing. Some of the reactions are like, ooh. Like, 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 yeah, they're, they're not always funny either. It's just like, ouch, like, yeah. he don't give a fuck. fuck, right? You know, like, but that guys, that wins you street credibility, Cred. I mean, not all the time. Just people all have Cred. their different angles. Like, right. the guy who's like mean and doesn't give a fuck, like, that's his angle. My angle is more like the let's all make fun of this guy together kind of angle. You know uh, what I mean? That, I'm right, more like right. the comedian kind of guy in, in that scene, yeah. But there's a guy who right in your face, like, <laughs> right there. Yelling at your face, spitting in your face, like just oh gross, just mean, you know really, I mean? really mean. I'm not really the mean guy. For, yeah, for, like my you're guy. more crafty then. I'm more like, hey, look at this. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I'm the Rodney I'm a, Dangerfield. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Hey. wow. So, so like, you were the pioneer then, right? For like Asians, would you uh, say? No, Jin was like the pioneer, oh, Jin, MC and Jin. I was like the new generation after Jin. I've never even heard of Jin. You never heard of Jin? No, and, and can I just say that's a yeah. credit to you, my friend. You're lit. You're flex. You're no. washed. You're fat. You're, 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 you're crap. Maybe you're yeah, not you're that those, washed yeah, if yeah. I'm the newer yeah, yeah, guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're all that. Okay. Um, we're gonna take and a second. We're gonna take a second for um, our sponsors. I love, I love, I love Brooklyn. And I love the sheets. I love it on my body. Mm -hmm. When I have sexual behaviors, I like it in this bottom of my body. Ooh. You're always on the bottom. I know. You That's feel what, the sheets on your back. Yeah, Brooklyn's the best. Tell them about it. 
Well, uh, Brooklyn sheets are the best and the most comfortable uh, comfortable sheets we've ever slept on. So Brooklyn.com has an exclusive offer just for Tiger Belly listeners. Get $20 off and free shipping when you use the promo code BELLY at Brooklyn.com. Brooklyn is so confident that they offer a risk-free 69 satisfaction guarantee uh, and a lifetime warranty on all their sheets and comforters. Uh, 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 the only way to get $20 off and free shipping is to use the promo code BELLY at Brooklyn.com. Honestly, I, I use Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. On my own king bed. It's a queen size, queen. but <laughs> I'm a king. Everyone knows I'm the slept king. And the slept king has Brooklyn and sheets. Okay? That's legitimate. All right? I, 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 I can't even tell even more. I can't sell it more than that. Help support the podcast. Help support guys. the podcast. Get some Brooklyn in. And that's B-R-O-O-K-L-I-N-E-N.com. Promo code belly. Brooklyn in. These are the best sheets ever. So um, we're doing uh, what? No, we're fine. We keep on what going. What the fuck, man? <laughs> the what? You fucking piece I'm of sorry, shit. I'm sorry, sir. I'm going to keep every, all the drinks over here. Are you, um, let me ask you something, um, dumb, 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 dumbfounded. Let me ask you something, okay? Mm-hmm. When you met my brother 10 years ago, back you know, in the day when you guys were like doing shows together and whatnot, what, do you think my brother's talented? Yeah, I mean, well, the rap style during that time was mm-hmm. a lot more abstract, like uh, the underground scene. Uh, and I always thought like Stevie style was very like abstract, you know. And right. I actually come from that too. Like our world of hip hop was a very like abstract style. Wow. Because we were like kind of nerdy kids, you know. Yeah. And it wasn't like you know the rapper tech, typical rapper image necessarily. You know, we were just trying to be like all like intricate. With yeah, our rhymes, right. You know, so. But he, so my brother does have skill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. And he was unique. You yeah, know, he is that, a unique guy. I think that was the main thing. It's like in hip hop, like it's more important that you're like different than yeah. like all you know. Well, you that 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 gives me a sense of pride then. Yeah, you should. No, really, because my yeah. brother and I, um, I don't come from that world. Right. You know, when I started, you know, when I was growing up, I listened to the Beatles. Yeah, yeah. And the Velvet Underground, and like just kind of bands. I was never exposed to hip hop much. I think, you know, back in my day, I, I think I bought a De La Soul album, you know, Tribe album, stuff like that. But um, Fuji's, you know, but that's as deep as I went, right. you know. And I feel, um, I feel kind of guilty almost. It's not as if I didn't want to. It's just that it just wasn't it's the stuff that people were listening to in the '80s, it, where I grew up. Right. For some reason, my brother was exposed to that. You know, and um, so I don't know much about it. And so I never really, when my brother said that he wanted to pursue it professionally, I was just, I was like, yeah, go do it, whatever, if you feel happy about it. But I could never tell if he was good or not. Mm. You had no, like, reference. Yeah, because I have no reference, right? So I just just keep doing. But then when I see him now with his new band, with Mongshi, he, I could see his performance style right that he can perform he's brave yeah and he is original he is he is as himself he's definitely fearless in this new band situation yeah you know what i mean like just going in and With i this think asshole hanging out and, and i think it's yeah and, <laughs> yeah. and it's it's it looks way i remember seeing him perform he was already fearless then yeah but this time around i think it's like the music is more even unique than then really wow yeah yeah yeah. and they just allowed him to i mean but his rap style is kind of similar actually yeah they're just applying it to like band you know yeah but, yeah it's really fun to watch i mean i to see his asshole his ass <laughs> right i remember one show i was just staring at my brother's ass i never seen it really before you know that clearly performing yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah performing yeah. you know what i mean not just yet. but I, I thought to myself he's got my dad's ass he's nice ass. <laughs> he's got a nice ass i think i have my, more my mom's Oh. oh, I don't know what your mom's ass looks like. It's not that good. You have a cute butt. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not Lineage bad at all. Lineage of nice butts. Y- yeah. But Stevie has a girl butt. I know, it's He's puffy. got curves. Yeah. Oh, I know. I want that. Oh, it's okay, sweetie. No, is there exercises I can do? Yeah, ask the grass there squats. Are, uh, yeah. Oh, really? And that, yeah. that'll, that'll protrude my butthole? <laughs> not your butthole. Wait, you want your butt to be bigger or your butthole to protrude? I want my butthole to stick out a little bit. Like your butt? You want to Like it's it? puckering. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, he has thin lips on his butthole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to. I want his mouth a little <laughs> thin <laughs> up, up on the top, a little thicker on the That's bottom. Not poking pump. out. This is inwards. Oh, oh, it, it, <laughs> T-U-L, T-U-L. Yeah. yeah. Let me ask you something. You you have a girlfriend? I don't. No. Let me ask you this. Is it, so you're single? I I've been single for a bit. 
So, um, w- would you hook up with girls when you do shows? I have. Yeah, I have. I mean, it's it's tough because when you're on tour, for instance, you're only there for pretty much just a couple hours. Like, you have like a six-hour window to make it happen, you know? Yeah, I, I agree. Like, when I'm playing a week, when I used to open for guys... You know, and when I was single, baby. Of course. <laughs> okay. Last last week, last weekend. Yeah. Um, but when you were when I found out that I was doing a straight week with Polly in one place, sure, I'd be like, I think I can do it. But when I did when we did one nighters, it was impossible hmm. because you would do the show, he would wrap the show up, and then you'd get on a bus, right. and you're off to the next place. It's like right. no, no, you get nothing. True. Yeah. And I'm not a closer. Are you a closer? Uh, well, this tour I'm coming in. Yeah, I'm, I'm headlining this. No, I'm no, not as a headliner. Oh, okay. right. The, the, no, in terms of when you meet a girl, how fast oh, can close, you close the closer. deal? Okay. I'm a headliner. Hey, Yo, man, that's about? my terminology, like, bro. Comedy shit. <laughs> they, I mean, they use that in comedy. Yeah, 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 right. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, wait, closer. Wait, was, re- repeat that again. What was that? When you open, okay. Yeah. Let's say you're in a place for two days. Uh huh. Right. You meet a girl the first night. Right. How f- how long do you need? You to see, close the deal out. I'm definitely more shy on that end than people think. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like if they if they're kind of moving that along, then you know it's gonna go down. But right. for me, I'm actually not even that aggressive. You know what I'm saying? Right. But I, I I'm aggressive in my head. Like I want it. <laughs> you know. But like yeah. I'm just kind of shy. Like it's weird. Like so if the balls hit at you, line you'll at you. grab it. Yeah, yeah. If it's away, you won't chase after it. Yeah, I mean, it also depends on like how. How hot, hot they are. How good the ball is. Right. How, how good, good the ball, ball is. is. Right. It does, yeah. <laughs> right. Sometimes they're so hot, you spent, you, you'll just do uh, days. <laughs> right? I, I mean, I remember one time there was this one girl, and I didn't get any, but I remember not sleeping at all, begging her at six in the morning. Oh, God. <laughs> right? You know, I'm a sleeper. Yeah. I love my sleep. Yeah. Yeah. That was only one time, baby, and that was only 20 years ago. I can't imagine you begging. I imagine you, like, maybe just, like, praying in a corner and just like looking at her and just praying to God. Oh, no, no, no. Maybe. I, can we just, can I just stick my fingers in? <laughs> like There's begging. definitely smooth ways of begging, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. when you're begging, you don't, you don't realize how desperate you actually look. So you're shy. Uh, I, in a sense. Like I, like if there's a girl like at a bar and I think she's hot, I, I'm not usually the guy who just cold call and just walk up to her and be like, what's good? Like I need like a homie of mine to kind of act a fool first. Right. Ooh. And then I'm like, oh, that's my But friend. if they're a <laughs> fan, but if they're a fan. That that helps. Easy. It helps. It so helps much immensely. for me. Yeah, yeah me too. Me. Yeah. Would you date a fan seriously? Um, I think it's tough. I, I, I've definitely been turned off sometimes when they're like, like too much of a fan. Yeah. Oh. You know, like, yeah. I don't know. I I've had that, you know, even though the girl's like super hot or whatever. Yeah, because they're in love with their perception of like your persona basically. They don't they it would cloud it would get in the way of really getting to know you know you cuz they, right. they have this like idea of like ooh. Maybe. I don't know what it is. It's just I I don't know. It's it's also you want um you also want to chase a little bit. That's what it is. Yeah, I think you need the chase. If you don't have the chase, it just doesn't feel exciting. Really? Yeah, you want to feel like you you're 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 earning catching it, something yeah. and you're you're earning and earning it. I think most of the time that I've definitely been involved with a girl, it's always been me chasing the girl. Yeah, mm-hmm. it hasn't been like one girl that's like really just been on my nuts. <laughs> I don't know, it's like <laughs> right. They just it's always me just liking the girl, me actually really trying to because I'm persistent. You yeah, know, like flirtatious constantly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm not shy when it comes to DMs. <laughs> well, nobody is, but uh, yeah. yeah. I think that you have you ever sent a dick pic? I have, yeah. You have? Yeah, I have. You I little have. Korean dick. <laughs> you little Korean dick. <laughs> oh wait, you have a come on. Yeah, I, I. You know what? It's something that I don't do now. But, but you was, have done it. Yeah, because I've been reckless. I've been drunk. I've done a lot of drugs. You know what oh, I'm saying? Right, right, so, right. And, and when I'm in that state, I was like, I shouldn't have been doing that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, it's a scary thing yeah. because you're like, nowadays, anybody could screenshot and stuff. Yeah. Even thinking back on those days, I was like, what the fuck was I thinking? Oh, so the, you, you did it before you were dumbfounded, actually. Well, no, no, no. This you. was when I was dumbfounded. Oh, my God. That's why. It's like, right. I'm like, Stupid then, I yeah. shouldn't have been doing that. Yeah. You know? So... I mean, if I did a dick pic, yeah. send it to somebody. Unsolicited? Whether are, we, are we already flirting? You and I? Yeah, like yeah, we're, yeah, yeah. we're already flirting. But no, no, I'm, then... just, I'm just talking about 
if there was just a picture of my face and yep. my dick, it would it would destroy the it would the internet would melt down. <laughs> you would destroy the internet. It would it would be a disaster for. But me. wait, a lot of people have seen your dick though, because you've done a lot of shows where like you there, got. There's a di- no, there's a difference. What's the showing your dick for comedy purposes, right? Is different than showing your dick for sexual purposes, all right? Because right. for comedy, I want you to laugh at my dick, right. but when you're, sh- you're sending a dick pic. You're like, you want some, right? <laughs> it's like you're trying to, it's a, it's a product that you're rep- presenting. As a salesman. But you're a salesman, yeah. It's your yeah. product. You know what? Yeah, yeah. I, what I disagree about that is this. I like being disagreed. I think a lot of dudes send dick pics more for themselves than right. the girls. For the, yeah. uh, you're so you know right. what I'm saying? Right, because right, right, right. You, as women, we don't really see, like, we don't look at a dick pic and we're like, yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> we're, we're, yeah. more like, we're more like, she saw my dick and yeah. she didn't even get angry. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you know, right like, yeah, yeah. Or it could go the other way where she could get angry. But I'm saying, <laughs> but it way. is, if they if they don't get angry, I'm all like, that's a victory. <laughs> well, you've, never, you've never seen a dick pic and went, that's a beautiful dick. I've seen many <laughs> beautiful dicks. I don't, I, I think that I could probably look at it and be like, okay, that's a penis, but I don't, I don't feel <laughs> sexual towards it. Right. It's like that last dick it's pic like where the guy almost. showed his face. <laughs> the last dick pic yeah. that was sent to me, he showed me, sent me like three and his face was in it. I was like this. He put dude. his face and in his it? And pro- his profile was not private. Oof. I was like this motherfucker. Yeah. We're fearless. It's all relationship trust too, you know, because couples send, you know, pictures of each other all the time. Like girls, yeah. you know. People I've been involved with have sent me like nudes and stuff. I'm, I would never like, you know. How long I mean? does that last? Like, how long? <laughs> and how many years do you have to be with somebody for it for the sending nudes thing to stop? I mean, oh, to to because we have do not send each other nudes. It's like we send one word text. Oh, to stop. Like bananas, please. In the beginning, Gelsons. though, in the first couple of years, I think there was like you would send me photos of you yeah, know, like lingerie. Ma- that's what I'm saying. It's all not fresh, lingerie, newly like wet my shit. fucking Popular. bare ass Popular. pussy. Yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, everything. Yeah. It is newly wet kind of shit yeah. you know yeah. like it's fresh yeah. Yeah. and it's exciting but you're right it, it will stop eventually yeah it, our, my know. text with her is like food now yeah <laughs> get it get it yeah. you know or like yeah 745 he's gonna be here like you yeah you know like it just direct <laughs> right right you know like we're working yeah right, right. yeah is he allergic to cats <laughs> that's the text yeah. 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 yeah i mean <laughs> we maybe we should start up again start up like the, i think that we should cats. i'm gonna send you a nude and tell me if you feel anything at all. That's all right, a good experience. I'm, right, I'm going to send you a nude also. If I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, that's where that's the problem. It's okay, got to go, it's gotta go, go both, both ways. ways. Can you yeah. try sending me a dick pic? And then I want to know. I want to see how I feel. Oh, I'll do it now. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I no do when one you're right on now. the road. <laughs> no, I want to do one right now. Oh, my God. I'm not going to show you. I'm not going to show you. I'm not going to oh, show you. Gonna, you're gonna, yeah, yeah. No, you see, you're already fucking up because that's not the... the, babe, the right. <laughs> it's got to be hard, babe. Oh, it, oh it's got to be hard? Yeah. It does have to be hard? It's you know that rule is like a half chub usually. You know really? what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. but, but no, they just don't do it. Just because you want to look like... like that's you when you're not hard. You when know you what? Kind of are you're hard. so right. I'm actually more <laughs> Whoa, interested in that a half was ent- job. That was interesting what you said. You know what I'm saying? You always want them to have more, like wanting more. That's why it's the half job. You show up and you're like, oh, this is me. When, yeah, like, the, is, yeah. This, I wonder what he's like when he is hard. Yeah, like, <laughs> Whoa. Actually, maybe. you're right. Half chubs are a lot sexier. Send me a half chub. But you're, when you're on the road, not now. That was just half chub, babe. That was oh, not half I know. chub. I know. So you want it kind of hard, but just kind of hanging on on your yeah. thigh, just laying on your thigh, <laughs> like taking a nap. All right, but you're not gonna post it. <laughs> you, you don't want it levitating. I have so many like pictures. Why the fuck would I just post don't a dick post pic? my half chub dick pic on online? I would never. Claude, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> would that would that make a headline? Like, would that be on TMZ? Like, Bobby I think I would be in dick. trouble. I think I'd be. Who well, he You'd sends in it trouble. to his the girlfriend he's living with? No, but I think that like I think that I don't think that you know the show that I'm on coming out is going to be right. happy about me Same. having a dick pic on the line. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Know, that's a good question, actually. I was wondering, you know, obviously couples and stuff send mm-hmm. dick pics to each other or like nudes to each other. Mm-hmm. Like nowadays, would that be a prob- a problematic thing if that got exposed? Right. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. it's a different time, too. Like I'm sure there's less dick pics being sent than ever Yeah. right now. It's It really is a very sensitive time. And... um. I just think anything sexual should just be cut out of everything for right now. 
I'll tell you, 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 you make Towards me that you make that face right now. The George. most obvious face. We're not telling people not to have sex. No, right? I want you to have I sex, I guys. I understand what you're saying. I'm gonna be more specific. It's just that a little bit more um, conscientious. Conscientious about yeah. things is what the word I wanted to use. Thank you so much. Yeah, let me, let me clarify that too. Sending dick pics to you know your significant <laughs> other. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. what I meant the not whole just, time. Yeah. Yes, just let me clarify that moving S- forward. Here. Significant others. And you know they're they're just you know. I just want to add to that. I'm not going to I'm not saying anything what's going to get me in trouble, okay, baby? I know you get worried when I talk about this, well, you but you can say whatever you want all It's just that, you know, <laughs> I, I think at the end of the day, you know, I'm just looking back at my own behaviors is is that, you know, my weird sexuality toward people have been strictly based on comedy and yeah. never through um me wanting to nut or get off right. on it, right? And I think that that's the line. I agree because when it comes to actually like when, like I said, when we first started hooking up, he was so afraid. Like he's really <laughs> wild and naked and you know, this like idea of this like guy who's, who doesn't, but when it comes to actually closing the deal, he's not, he's, you know, he's very like, oh, am I allowed? Am I not allowed? Yeah, Where I'm more of a lawyer. You? I'm like a lawyer when it comes to I think like people that. Really legal. That, very legal. I mean, yeah. I think people kind of get that vibe from you that it is comedic. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Yeah, but you know, um, I know a lot of guys right now. I'm not gonna name any names. That um, I was talking to one guy who's pretty famous. I'm not gonna say his name, but he was like, "Yeah, I slapped this girl's ass." Yeah, it was just like we're at a party. I slapped her ass, just like a you long know, time ago. A long time ago, and now I'm in big trouble for that. Mm. You know, and it's like, yeah, you don't slap a stranger's ass. Yeah, man. I've never you know? that that. That takes a lot of like that you have to be a certain type of person to be able to just do I think that so. or something. Like let's suppose yeah. you're drunk and we're at a pool party. It's the dumbfounded <laughs> pool party. Okay, during the summer. Right? And I'm a, a really hot chick. I'm a big fan. Right? I'm wearing a skimpy bathing suit. Right. And I walk by you and go, I love your last album. Or whatever. I, would you slap her ass? No, I would I would <laughs> I wouldn't slap her ass, but I have been in situations where like I got a home girl and she's like twerking. Yeah. Oh no. well, then that yeah 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 yeah, 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 it, yeah it's yeah. almost like well, no no there, there's a good there's a good there's a good scenario it's an invite yeah. I'm sitting there right a girl's twerking yeah like her just j- black jiggly ass is in my face it's got to be black <laughs> why <laughs> why I just because uh, give some love I to like, Asians I, I, I like, like a Korean ass no no no, no that I, would I, even racist but it'd be kind of sound it would just be bone <laughs> that would just be bone okay right <laughs> that would be bone. a flat bony bone ass I don't want it. What's well, it's just black jiggly, you know what I mean? Just, <laughs> blah, 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 I'm in my face, Got right? It. Sound effects. And I'm, I want to go, I want to slap it, right? Do you, is if I slapped a jiggly ass in my face that's twerking like hella 2000, Hell, nah, that's hella a tough, 2000. That's a tough thing, you know what I'm saying? Hella like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that's a tough thing to call, you know? What I'm it's all, it's someone tough. Could, could, someone could get mad, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. I knew my homegirl and I know, like, you know, she'd be turning up and, you know, yeah. doing the stripper thing. Right, right, then, right, you know, right, like, right, right. That's why I was like doing this, like the little taps. Right. <laughs> yeah, the stripper yeah. taps. A, a, a light, like, yeah, 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 yeah. like, like Thank you so much. A, yeah. Yeah. I feel like that's like a really ni- early 90s male chauvinist thing to do, like to just slap an ass of a stranger. <laughs> yeah. Very nah, mad that's, men. That's yeah, so that washed. That that's, that's, so that's washed, yeah. That's that is so washed. washed man. Yeah. yeah. Facts. Facts. Facts machine. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I, that's that's another thing. That is another thing. Right. So, yeah, just keep your hands to yourself. Mm-hmm. But it's also this is that, like, I don't ever want to be in a sexual situation with somebody that doesn't want to be in it with me. Yeah. Right? So it's like, I know a lot of guys, like, I know she don't like me, but I'm going to pursue it because I want to have it. Right, yeah. That mentality. It's like, no, if you don't think that I'm cute, and you think you don't think that I'm attractive? I don't want to do it. Mm. I don't want to touch you because that's like, then it's weird. Creepy. Yeah. How do, why don't guys have that thing? And that's the, and that's a tricky question too because there's dudes who are just like, I'm gonna like earn her heart, <laughs> you know? Like I'm gonna yeah, win her over. Eventually win yeah. her over, you know? And sometimes it does happen. No, I, yeah, <laughs> but you do it through not slapping their ass. Oh no, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You do it by like showing that. them your soul. Boom. Yeah. And showing them who you are. Yeah, but sometimes Facts. is it like a dude doing too much when they're like constantly texting and you know what I'm saying? Because they're trying to, you know, win her over. 
Yeah. Because that could be, that is a little aggressive too, you know? Like, I, I find mean, that to be totally unattractive and he's just doing too much. It's such a turn off. And you're oh, like, no give text. me space and time to breathe. It's right. like a fucking cake. Put me, or like baking something, put me in there alone. I need time to like rise and breathe and cook. You know what I right. do? Simmer. A girl, uh, a girl like, she texts me, right? Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't respond right away. Mm. You wait a day. Right. Oh, that's some. Just, just listen to what I'm saying. Just, just listen to me. Bitch, hours. listen to me. All right. <laughs> all right. I'm flexing. That's all. <laughs> He's just a little flexing. Yeah, yeah little flex. I'm flexing, facts. right? And facts. Fa facts. Facts machine. And so, um, and then when I text back the next day, I misspell words. <laughs> listen, I don't do any punctuation. Good. Right? And so make it seem like I'm just like not even concentrating. Right? That's who I am. That's what I love about pretty good huh? you know what you, you, because when you did one time you texted me and you were like see I like you because I punctuated that's what you wrote me yeah oh, you use when... that on everybody <laughs> <laughs> well there are things that dudes use like over and we over we do too yeah, yeah. girls do the everybody exact got same that. thing you yeah. know you got your little cute thing that you know is charming and like yeah. It, yeah. it works you, you know, know what I do sometimes I put high send high again send yeah so I do high oh, twice love, you love that, that I love this yeah. one <laughs> then you go did I just say, say high twice <laughs> right to make it seem like you know what I mean it's weird you know what I mean if I, like I do weird things like that is that cheesy Cute. Or, 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 or when I'm on a dating site thing I go I don't, if, I don't even know how this works is this am I doing like you act right, like right. you don't even know really what the fuck stupid, you're doing like what yeah. does SMH mean yeah 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 <laughs> Is that a good move or no? What I mean, does SMH work. mean? I don't Bobby? know what it means. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What do you think SMH means? SMH? Yeah, when someone you're texting, right? And yeah. someone writes SMH. C much hour. Try again. <laughs> try again. So much happiness. Oh, that's a good one. That was one. a good guess, though. Yeah. <laughs> that was SMH. Um, C. It's a, wait, it's a reaction to if something. He, if he got C that, rea someone wait, was reacting to C him, what is it? S-M-H C Mama Ora. Oh, we don't, it could be in Mexican. Yeah, in Spanish. Yes, Mama Hour. <laughs> yeah. No? Yeah, close. What is it? Shakes my head. Shake my when head. Do shake this. my head, right? Shakes my head. Oh, I guess shakes That's my head. That's so my head. fucking dumb. <laughs> Why would anyone fucking say I'm shaking my head? It comes in handy a lot. Yeah, 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 I've yeah, never yeah. shaken my head for no reason. <laughs> No one actually really like shakes their. What yeah, exactly. unless you really like, shook your head about anything? That's like a 1950s thing. Oh, right, right, right. That's wash. Right, right. That's wash. That's wash. Like, like for instance, uh, do say something that I would shake my head. For. Uh, oh, that movie was so good, man. Nope. Like a Trump. Tweet. See, no, no shake. shaking. No shaking. Like a Trump tweet. Someone will yeah. send you a Trump tweet. And yeah. Like shake my head. No. Oh, no. He just says nope. I would just say nope. <laughs> nope. No, thank you. Yeah, I have never shaken my head. Have you? I also have never waved. Is that a... Have you ever waved at anybody? But that's uh, not an actual... What are you... He's we're talking, talking about, about text. He's messages. talking about the It doesn't matter. I'm just telling things that I've never done. Like shake my head. I've never yeah. waved either. People never do the things we type out. <laughs> LOL. Like are you laughing out loud? I've never laughed out loud. Exactly. That's yeah, ever. Right there. That's and when people saying. laugh out loud, you really laughing out loud? Everybody overuses that one. That one. Yeah. Everyone yeah. overuses that yeah. one. Yeah. And then LMFAO. LMAO. Laughing my ass off. Yeah. The extra dudes, R O F L, like, come on. Bro. Or like You're the emoji boring. where there's like tears coming out oh, and the mouth so open. Over that. I can't fucking do Every that. Every sentence, someone puts that. Yeah. We got yeah. dead, you know? Yeah, dead's better. Dead is just like when you just like, it's like shockingly yeah. funny. You're like, dead. I'm dying. Wait, wait, wait. I'm dying. I'm right. Write that down. You don't know that one? No. Dead or I'm dying. What is it, dead? Yeah. Dead. Okay, so when do you use that? Something when something's is so, so funny, funny you're shocking, dead. It killed like, you. almost like shockingly funny. You're just like, yeah. Like, I, like how like Ralphie Mae no, died no, no, and I no. go dead no, <laughs> no that's no. just saying he died <laughs> that's just saying what I don't know what dead means when something makes you laugh very hard that it killed yeah, yeah. you situation or something like, uh, or like when someone like you know like you put posted that uh, naked picture of you in Joshua Tree right and people comment like, everyone said dead dead dying dead. Oh, I thought they were saying that my dick looked dead <laughs> <laughs> it'd be like if if you <laughs> said you would, you would never sh uh, send a dick pic and then the next day, like, there's a headline of you, like, showing a dick pic. And then a friend send it to somebody, it like... became a meme. Yeah. They'd be like, dead. dead. <laughs> I don't know. I get that. That's a weird reference. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're thinking about Bobby's dick this whole time. <laughs> well, I'll just write down dead. All and right, then uh, dick you, pic, I'll put that next to that. And then just utilize it. And then, you know, funny? 
I'll say. Funny, Funny question, question mark. mark. Should make yeah. this a pamphlet. I'm learning so much today. I'm, I might do a dictionary. You should. <laughs> An urban dictionary. I feel my lame own for urban. being the urban dictionary today. Like, uh, you know, people got to look at me like, who's this guy? Teach, you know. No, 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 no. Okay. Don't, 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 don't get me wrong. Oh my God, he's so Sorry. scary today. <laughs> don't, 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 don't get me wrong, my friend. Yeah. Okay. It's just that here's the deal, dude. I've known about you for a while. Okay. You're lit. Well, I got a funny story about when we had an encounter, actually. You and I did? Yeah, I got it. But let me just yeah, say this, ahead, okay? Yeah. And I know what you do. I know what you represent. And I'm not saying that you're the spokesperson for, you know. Urban Dictionary. The Urban Dictionary, okay? <laughs> but can I just say this? You're my gateway, all right? You are a representative a little bit, and I'm learning through you. I'm happy to be your gateway. And thank you. Yeah. When did we meet? Uh, I mean, I would see you once in a while just throughout K-Town, but then there was one time I saw you at Silver Lake Ramen. Yeah. And then I was just sitting there with my homie, and then uh, you were passing by. And I didn't even know you that well at the time. Yeah, yeah. And I said, yo, what's up, Bobby? And he was like, yo, what's up, guys, blah, blah, and just kind of like hovered over our table, and then you kind of like kneeled down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like on our table like this. Yeah. Like looking at both of us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're just eating our ramen. Yeah. <laughs> and you told us like a really deep secret. What was it? Oh, <laughs> you, you literally was like, yo, I got this girl pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. And was that you? <laughs> Why you? were you telling strangers? <laughs> this was like, and we were just like, and he, and he was just like, I don't know what to do. Like, should I? Should what I the fuck, it? Bobby? <laughs> But it was like the we strangest thing. Like, was this like five years ago? Like I just got like a noodle hanging down. I'm just like, no. I just I don't really know Bobby that was well. Was this approximately five years ago? Four years. This was ago? definitely yeah, more than three years ago. Okay, so five. Years ago. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> oh my but God. it was weird because there was no segue. It, was like, <laughs> it wasn't hey, like, hey, what's up, Bobby? Yeah, yeah, yeah it was like it, there was no like hype in or you know <laughs> yeah, like I. I I, 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 okay, I'm sorry. That's it. I'm sorry. I mean, how many people did you tell? <laughs> how, many, how many ramen shops did you go to and talk to? Oh people? my! He God. literally just <laughs> dropped dropped. <them. laughs> yeah, and yeah. I just went like, like looked like like we were like oh my face God. over here, and he was like, guys, I, I'm just gonna tell you guys something right now, and he just told us. Oh, yeah, I, I you know like, what? I, you know, I I, I want to apologize. I want to apologize to the world. <laughs> I know. I really. I first. Are you first? I'm so sorry. Sweetie. <laughs> the first. I, I'm so, sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. I do these things when, when like crazy things happen or like when personal things happen, where I have to blurt it out to the world. I, when my dad had a stroke, I took a photo of him in, the, in about to die. Right. And then one night, I was at a week, couple weeks later, I was at the comedy store and I was sitting next to. Marilyn Rice Cup from 24. Mm -hmm. I go, hey, my dad just had a stroke. And, you know, my dad's in the bed like this. She goes, why the fuck are you showing me that? And I go, I don't know why. Mm. Like, I take, you know so, what I mean? And it was so the it's same. A thing. It's, a thing it's the same thing that I did to right, you. Right. And it is a, a fucking, I don't do it as much. I don't think I do it anymore. Mm -hmm. I try to think not to do it, but I have done it in the past. And I don't know what that's about. Maybe you need. Is that a bad thing though? It's you're being vulnerable to share. No, I think it's no, weird. No, I think you need a sounding board. I think you need somebody, a perfect stranger, like someone like a therapist, to like dump all your thoughts and shit. Right, because here I don't know this kid, right? <laughs> and he's Bobby! he's eating noodles, right? And I'm telling him <laughs> the deepest, like darkest, right, right. You know, secretive thing, for no fucking reason to fuck him up or is my, Mila. My first thought was like a joke or no? I was like. Uh, does he think I'm somebody else? <laughs> oh, like that was my first time. Oh right. So right, I was right. like, no, yo, no, no, no. I was like, that wasn't it. And then, and then second, we were just like, yo, this guy is, like, you know, we were, we know you're like Bobby Lee's crazy, you know what I'm right, saying? But right. we were, we were like, this guy's an artist. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you know what I mean? This, this guy, guy is an artist. Like, it's an artist. That's what it know, is. Just like, I'm not changing. Like a super, I'm not changing. I'm not changing. You know, like an art, weirdo yeah. artist type yeah. that would do shit like that? Yeah, yeah. You know, that's what me, me and my bro was like. Yo, this yeah, guy but you know what, dude? James let me Franco say something. Type, let yeah. me say something right now. That is not a good way to live. And here's the thing is, is that I'm literally, I, I'm, I'm being honest. This is the realest thing I've said is I don't want to do any of that shit anymore. I, all those little t defense mechanisms or little things that to shock people or to fuck people's day up. I used to do that, you know, and it's like, I don't want to do that anymore. I want to be a normal guy. 
Hello. <laughs> wave. Wave. Yeah. Wave. <laughs> wave. Hello. LOL. Shake your head. Shake, Shake my head. <laughs> no. No. LOL. Right. LOL. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to be, you know, flexing, lit. What else? Yeah, and washed out. You know what I mean? <laughs> washed out. I want to be normal. I want to be. Out. I want to be normal. I want to be a regular guy. And you know what? I'm so sorry. I did that for, to you. Oh no, no, we didn't take it. We didn't. It didn't like ruin our day. You know. Yeah, but you know what? It's not right for her. <laughs> yeah. I, well, but yeah. you didn't give my name. I might like, have. Now, no, 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 now no. five years, we finally meet the, the person you're talking yeah. about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I also That's want so you to know crazy. that we don't have a child. Okay, so, so yeah, we yeah. know what happened yeah, there. Yeah, there yeah, was yeah. a smorshmortion. I okay. pushed her down a flight of stairs. <laughs> smorshmortion. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, we had a, that one of those. And um, it's so weird. I think now when you say that story, I kind of vaguely remember it. You know, I remember maybe doing something like that. It just yeah. brought me back. Mm. Mm. And that's just not cool, man. You know, I apologize. I know nah, it didn't fuck up your day. No, nah, it wasn't like all the other times we ran into each other, you told me another secret. That was our thing. Every thing. time he sees yeah, you, what is yeah. it now, Bobby? <laughs> yeah. Like, I've literally gone up to guys I don't know. I was like, yeah, in high school, I sucked a dick. Yeah. <laughs> like, why would anyone want to know that? <laughs> After the first, yeah. Right. Actually, you know, yeah. I was molested by a guy with Down syndrome. Mm -hmm. Like some stranger trying to eat a salad at fucking, you know, tender greens. At the bubba shop. Right. And, like, and they're like, oh, we're eating. Yeah. But I don't want to do that anymore. I want to be a normal guy. So I, so I apologize to you. No, it was you good. have tattoos everywhere? Uh, No, not, I mean, I have a chest tattoo. I have a Koreatown tattoo across my Let chest. Let me see. Can I just see it real quick? Got it when I was young. Yeah. Oh, that's dope. Get down. You know what? It wasn't dope when I first got it because yeah. it was literally my first tattoo, just the font of Koreatown. Yeah. So and then you got all this trimmings. Yeah, but it's like for like a couple like a couple years, I had nothing but the text <laughs> Korea Town. Right. So like you were like, sponsored by them or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like I can go to water parks or anything. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's, yeah. Like there's cholos looking at me. I'm just like, you know, I'm just, you know, it was, I don't know. It worked out later on. Like, it's weird because now thinking back, it's, even though I rep K-Town, like I don't want it necessarily tatted across What does that me. mean? Uh, just, you know, representing my community. You know what I'm saying? Of so Korea here's, Town. So here's the thing. Yeah. You represent Korea Town. Give me, can you net rattle me five restaurants oh. that are in your top five? Ah, okay. Well, kind of. We'll start with, we'll have categories. So yeah. let's do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me this is, uh, I wanna, let's, I well, you, write down. You know your shit. I see you, I, 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 I see I, you all the time. I, I, I see you all the time. Okay. I see you all the time. Let's start with just basic Korean barbecue. So let's, I'm going to go barbecue. So barbecue, because I want to eat there if I, it's not on my list. I've been out the barbecue game for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I'll admit that. Oh, so give me, give me your top three in your barbecue. Uh, top three Korean barbecue. I wonder if he'll say it all. No, words. Louisiana fucking rib <laughs> <laughs> riblets, riblets. <laughs> what your best? Yeah, Korean barbecue. Uh, uh, Louisiana. Ribs. I'm like Jasper Kim's. No, I'm kidding. Um, let's see. Uh, well, for pork, I know what he's gonna say. Mm. Yeah, like they have honey different pig, specialty. maybe. Yeah. Kulteji. Well, honey pig. Honey pig and parsec, which is I've that. I've never been to that. Really? I don't think I've ever been to honey pig. Or Kalsberg. or Hejong Chan. Hejong. Oh, that's, that's all one. you can you eat. Know that's, spot, that's all right? you can eat. Right? Is it? That's Hejong where got... you got the the, di the diarrhea. I mean, there, but there's also uh, the di diarrhea there. There's also the new spots. You know, like quarters. 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 Oh yeah, quarters. But that's like yeah. the white people spot. Kang yeah, yeah, And yeah. only reason is the white people spot because it's called quarters and not like some Korean shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then in that little castle yeah. area, there's one across yeah. from there. What's that? Kang Hoon. Kang Hoon. is, and that's fairly new too. That's only like the last two, three years. But so you don't eat. We just had Chosun. That was fucking. Chosun Galbi. Chosun is like the the bougie Korean barbecue spot. You know what I mean? Right. But we're still very good. Yeah, because they have such a big big menu, so you can take people who don't. You know, they have like salmon. Yeah. yeah, it's super and, good. And then, you know, you got Parks Barbecue. That's like oh, the white one of my people's favorite. spot, too. And, yeah, it's, good. and it's still good. It's still delicious. What right? about that one that fell off? Agashi? No. Uh, the one that I used to go to. Oh, Super Chip. Super Chip, super chip is That's an OG close? spot. That's close? That's like... Yeah. Since I was three years old. Yeah, yeah. I used there, to you know? bring my parents there yeah, before yeah. they came in. Are they still around? Yeah, they're still around. I Charcoal, should go back. Right? We should give it you know, another shot. You know, I yeah, went yeah. there I went there with, you know, uh, Roy Choi, the chef. Yeah. And and Giada. Uh -huh. uh, oh, Giada I loved her. Home. Yeah. So Giada shot an episode and invited Roy, and Roy invited me. Yeah. And we did a whole thing there. It was tight. You know, because Giada Giada's hot. De <laughs> like, she's Italian. A chef. She's Italian. Like, Italian isn't food. she related to Oscar de la Renta? 
I don't know who that is, but I know she's a MILF. She's on Food, <laughs> she's yeah. on food Network. Well, another she's thing that's big in Koreatown head. is chicken places, like chicken wings and stuff like that, right? Yeah. Is there, do you have, a, do you have I one? I don't know. For... I don't really know. I, I, I know there's lots, but I just see it on my Postmates and I just kind of go for one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They have yeah. that one right by... Um, on 6th Street, the, I go to that Kyo-chan. one. Yeah. Kyo-chan. Yeah. Kyo-chan, BBQ yeah. Chicken. Mm-hmm. BBQ no. Chicken. Uh, but then there's also places like Obi Bear. What's that? Never been You've never been to Obi Bear? It's more like kind of like... Splotched, uh, spl- what is that? Spatchcock, spatchcock, spatchcock kind of chicken, and it's it's like really good. Ob bear. Yeah. I like um hamji bark. Oh, hamji bark. Oh, hamji bark for pork ribs. Yeah. That's the, the spot. Pork ribs. And stew. So now people stew. listening that don't neck, live in LA, ribs. sorry, and don't give a fuck about <laughs> Korean food. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. We and, have to get... and this is kind of be this is hard for people to spell out like phonetically. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. That's why like I feel like quarters is doing well just because it's uh-huh. called quarters. I know what that is. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. Baekjong across the street is Kang Hodong Baekjong, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, when people ask me, like, the spots, I say quarters because I don't want to spell out shit for them. <laughs> <laughs> I, out of like, laziness. Seriously, yeah, yeah, I yeah. literally do yeah. it out of laziness. And that's why, like, this this is where all some of the Korean business are fucking up. Cause it, you know. Oh, you should just name it Dave's. <laughs> yes. Dave's yeah. Korean Barbecue. You don't know Dave's Korean Barbecue? It's really good. <laughs> that's why I think Parks is winning, too, because it's, it's Parks. It's easy, yeah. It's literally Parks. just Parks Barbecue. Yeah. yeah. That's interesting. Smart. I really thought about I really think that's the reason Parks is, like, winning. You know, easy I mean, to spell, do you think yeah. that you and I could open up a restaurant? Yes. Not that we would, but you think we, you and I could open a barbecue restaurant and have it kill it? Called Parker's. If, yeah, if we, dude, we we gotta like close at two in the morning. Kill the market machine. It's called yeah. Fax Machine. Right? Fax, Fax Machine. Fax. 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 That'd be the slogan. Like we got the best Korean barbecue. Fax. Fax. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's actually a great name for a barbecue spot. Fax. Yeah, Fax. Fax Korean barbecue. With a CT, no, not, not the X. Why? I like facts. Like fax machine. <laughs> we'll argue about that during the board. Oh, the meeting. funny thing about <laughs> it is, so yeah. my my dad's like he, my dad had this business in uh, in downtown, uh-huh. like you know wholesale business, and it was like Parks Trading Company, but it was supposed to be like Pax, you know, like Koreans pronounce yeah, it Pax. Pax. Yeah. So he spells it P A X, and he yeah, always yeah. spelled it like that. Yeah. And I was wondering, like, why do you have it Pax? And he's like, oh, it's Pax. And I was like, oh, it's that the Korean. cool though. Pax, Pax is yeah, cool. Yeah, it's cool. Pax is uh, Angelina Jolie's kid. Okay. Right. Do they spell it like that? P-A-X? Yeah, P-A-X. Wow. Okay. Do you think when they're choosing babies from around the world, that they try to choose the cutest one? <laughs> or do like they just adopted. take... Yeah, when they adopt, or do you think they take just the first one ever? That has to be a factor, too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like Yeah, but cute babies don't always... It's hard to see what a what a person's going to look yeah, like. Some of them, I'm not going to name who, <laughs> but they're growing up to be a little weird looking. Yeah. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> well, you can't, and, 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 you and, can't and, tell. What yeah, you gonna can't tell like. as a baby. You know what facts? Right. I think as uh, well, if <laughs> I was adopting, I would go. Can I? Do you have photos of the parents? Oh, you want all the stuff? Yeah, I need all, all the, the facts. I need all the facts. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to see facts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I mean, I think even what you can't tell the personality early on exactly. too. So they're going off by something. You know, they're going. You know, like what? What about the ones that adopt Russians and they send them back? They send them back. Oh yeah, a they couple of that? Russians. They've what? sent them back. One of them, like a five trial. years later, they sent it back. <laughs> trial. Like this, we did, this one's this one plays with knives. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Russians are the knives. They fucking love it. It's oh a gut gosh. instinctual thing. They'll either wrestle bears <laughs> or fuck with you with their knives. Khabib, holy like shit. Habib. Yeah, Habib. not being real. They're a tough fucking lot. The Russians. Yeah, and I that's a fax. That. You're right. <laughs> Fax. Facts of life. And that's. Um, can I just also say, you know, because um, I want to say something to you, dumbfounded. Wow. You no, know, you, you earned it. No, thank you. You finally earned your rap name. You earned your rap name. <laughs> Today, street cred. Today, 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 in my head, I was going, I'm going to call this motherfucker Jonathan Parks all day, every day. Parks. Right? Damn. But you know what? Look at me right now. <laughs> you fucking earned dumbfounded to me, man. Thanks, young. You're legit. Oh, <laughs> don't sing. <laughs> uh, Joanna Addison. You earned the young today too. I did. You I earned, earned the young. You oh, earned the young fuck. title. Oh my god! I'm about to cry. That shit felt weird too. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> it did. It, did. it felt Got weird. A stomach ache saying it. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? Here's the thing. Yeah. You know how to talk. You you have opinions. You have ideas, and you express those things. And that's what made this podcast so good. Mm. Is because a lot of times we bring people here that aren't comedians. Right, but they they don't know how to do it. Right? True, you're li- too legit to quit. Oh. <laughs> he had to throw okay. that in. There. I had to throw that in. Here there. comes the old, that's real. old ones. Yeah, that's real. You better check yourself. You gotta. You, you, gotta, <laughs> yeah. you gotta. You gotta. You gotta. I'm washed. 
<laughs> I looked at a lot. I got looked at. You have to look at stuff. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. Because <laughs> I'm laughing so hard. That's what's up. Now at the end we do this thing called um, unhelpful advice. It's an email question, okay. and you will answer it accordingly. You, it doesn't have to be um, on the dot. Just whatever your opinion is. Sure. Unhelpful advice with Bobby Kalila and Dumbfounded. Hi, Tiger Belly. I'm a 27-year-old man from Norway. Sorry for my bad English. I've been a Tiger Belly fan since podcast one. So for around two years now, I've been using amphetamines, speed, three to four times each month. I wouldn't call myself an addict, but I see it as a problem. I use amphetamines when I haven't had sex in a while and want to masturbate. Bobby knows what I'm talking about. Bingo. <laughs> other, than, other than that, I coke once in a while, while I'm clubbing or something. Whenever I come down from amphetamines, I always tell myself I'll never do it again, but that never happens. What can I do? Eric. Well, they used to take um, amphetamines. The housewives did it a lot in the 50s and 60s, mm -hmm. you know, and um, you can still live a life you know, doing amphetamines. Meth is one thing. I don't know what he means by amphetamines. Speed? It could be anything. The pill, though, like pill format. It can be on like ADD medication. He says, right. he says he's using it. Coke too. Does that include Coke? No, Coke is that's a, a, but still, it's an upper. Still. It's an upper, right, right, yeah. right. That's what I figured out. Did he say he does Coke too? Or yeah, no? he, he said does Coke, Coke and speed. Yeah. But meth is so problematic for me because I know yeah. Coke heads who can do it recreationally forever. Right. But then meth is just something that you get stuck with. Have you ever done meth? Uh, no, but I've done like everything else. <laughs> yeah. But meth is, you know, honestly, meth like kind of messed up like my whole high school. Mm. Like I, I went to like Marshall High School, which was in Los Feliz. And like, it was just like, it's like a very LA school. But I remember like when meth got like really introduced and it spread like a wildfire in my high school. And I had friends like that. I just, they changed like instantly. Yeah. You know, it's a great rock. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, I, I, I mean, I, I sponsored uh, uh, by. <laughs> no, I'm not saying, but I'm just saying, it's a great one. Yeah, that's uh, that's what I've heard. Everybody it feels like. so good, mm -hmm. and you're just up, and you're like, I want to build things, and I have so many plans, <laughs> and you're just sitting there. You don't do actually anything to <laughs> pick up scabs. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then it uh, meth is really like it induces. Um, I love um, it. Hallucinations. I love hallucinating. So you get like audible. Right. Like um, my very close family member of, well, I talked about it before. My sister was a meth addict, my older sister. And years after, even when she got sober, she would still hear um, just like remnants of like hallucinations and stuff. Right. And it would. Uh, my Norwegian friend, I want to say this. Um, you know, like earlier today, I said that I was hanging out with Crystalia. <laughs> Not a big deal. But um, <laughs> he's flexing. He's flexing, I'm flexing, flexing right now. But. And we were talking about, we were with a guy named Bert Kreischer. I don't know if you've heard of him, but yeah, big, big, flexing. <laughs> flexing. Me and Bert and Dalia just hanging out. Um, and I was, we were talking about Chris and, and how he d he's never been drunk. He's never done a drug. Mm -hmm. All he does is drink iced coffee. That's his thing. I've known a lot of guys like that that are successful. And at the end of the day, you know, a lot of... Um, Chris is naturally gifted and whatnot, but a lot of success has to do with he just doesn't he doesn't party in that way. You know, he he wakes up, he goes to the gym, he writes jokes, he has plans, and he and he follows through with these plans. And he's a nice guy and whatnot, right? So my Norwegian friend, you can st I mean, you know, at the end of the day, if you were to weed all that stuff out of your life, it, your life could improve. I, I think it definitely will improve. Yeah, right. I mean, I you know, even for me, like I I drink a lot, you know, and I dabble in a lot of other shit, you know, occasionally, recreationally, probably mm -hmm. the same way. But it's like that shit does not help. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, well, I've, and I've also had moments where I just don't do that, and I go on these little sober streaks for like a couple months, and my life drastically improves during that. Time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it just does. I I could tell, you know. Yeah. So it is a proven thing, but it's like you know, we're just humans, you know. So it's gonna happen. Yeah. At the very least, like, don't do math. You can do coke <laughs> once in a while, but be like dumb. Don't do math. Do the other <laughs> don't stuff. Do math, yeah. Just don't do math. Yeah. I th I think that's that's a good like just a starter advice. Yeah. You know don't what I mean? Math. Like it's a starter. <laughs> yeah. Meth and heroin. Just just stay out of that. Exactly. The other stuff is nah, not not as bad. And you know, and, and it's as simple as this. Anyone listening, and it's you know, it goes to the principles of 
how I was taught, but it's just, just don't do it today. Yeah. Today I'm going to do something else. I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to eat right. nice. I'm going to do this, but I'm not going to do meth or, you know, cause it doesn't sound like he's an addict. Mm-mm. He's not doing it every fucking single day. You know, one thing that I've always been envious of is actually people who are able to work really well on drugs. Like functional. I know. Yeah, like because like rappers, right? There's a lot of rappers who could be in the studio like drinking tons of lean, you know, mm-hmm. and like up, you know, being high as hell, like drunk in the studio and just recording tons of songs. Like when I do drugs or drink, like I like party, you know what I'm saying? I, yeah. I, I'm not, I can't really record mm. or work in the studio. I yeah. like being sober when I do that. Same. I don't think I could ever be functional in any way. And also I just feel like, I get, I, I feel like shit the next day. I'm one of those right. that doesn't bounce back real quick. Oh, oh sure. I know comics that are high as fuck. Mm. Wow. And and when they're doing stand up, and like, I just wrote a new 20 minutes yeah. on stage. Yeah, and you're you like, see, what? I know that happens there. When right? I'm yeah. on drugs, I can't talk. Yeah. Mm. I don't want to be around people. Same, yeah. You know, I'm more like, you know, I like being alone. <clears throat> Introvert. Mm. I'm not a partier. I like being alone in a box. And just in my own head. Well, I think that's when it becomes like scary. It could be a problem and scary because, like me, if I'm on, <laughs> if, I, if I'm on shit, like yeah. I'm like I'm li- I'm the life at a party. I'm giving TED talks and just, oh, <laughs> like, oh really? Yes, yeah, yeah. so you're not a drug addict. Me, I like being in a dingy dungeon, right. sitting on a wooden or stone bench, oh, right, specific. with my ass against this cold slab, right, and it's dripping wet. And I'm like kneeled over because I can't breathe, you know, and my head is just, I'm drowned out. Mm. It's that sounds like heaven to me. Mm. Oh gosh. And honestly, I, that right there is, I I know it sounded dark, Dark, but I find that to be where I'm happy. But what ends up happening is you get sober again and then you see where does you're that at. get sad? Does that get like... Then a- that's when it gets right. sad. So then you have to do more drugs to get back in mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. And it's just, it compounds on itself. And then you end up on the precipice of death. Hmm. Welcome to another episode of Tiger <laughs> Belly. <laughs> positive the most, uh, vibes. Positive, <laughs> uplifting. Yeah. Dumbfounded. Is there anything that you want to promote? He's going on the road. Yes. Um, I don't know. This might be coming out when I'm already on the road because I'm leaving on Monday. So. Well, well, this airs when? Wednesday. 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 Oh, it's airing this week. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. Is fresh. Oh, this is sweet. Fresh. Okay, perfect. So, yeah, I'm going 31 city U.S. and Canada tour. Oh, my guy. Yeah. So, you guys. <laughs> oh, my guy. <laughs> hey, my guy is a thing, too, actually. Like, oh, really? current thing. Like, in <laughs> rap world, people are like. Oh, I see. I see those new shoes, my guy. I, it's like a, it's like a hot slang, oh, right? Oh, now. really, my guy? Yeah, yeah, my guy is a thing. You've been saying that for years. Oh, that's my. I started that. No, it's an old thing that I think yeah. people no, brought fuck back. Fuck you! I started that. All right. <laughs> fuck you! Talking. All right, my guy. <laughs> Asian accent. Um, okay. Yeah. 30, so thirty-one cities. So you you do one nighters in the cities? Uh, yeah. There's only a couple of days that we have off after a show. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Is do you, do you take a plane to every gig or you take a bus? No, we're taking a. It's it's like a Sprinter van. I can't afford a bus yet. You yeah, know what I mean, but that's how, like the level. I'm how at. many seats do you play? I mean, how many people come to your shows? Uh, right now, I would say it's anywhere. Well, we have a couple cities that's like a thousand to oh. thirteen wow. hundred. But, wow. But uh, usually, right now, uh, the average right now is probably three to seven hundred. That's great. That's a lot. Yeah, yeah, it's still so. a lot. That's a, that doesn't mean all, all the cities are selling well. So <laughs> buy tickets. <laughs> but I mean, there's a lot of cities I do well, but I, I wanted to add a lot of new cities on this run. And right. Kind of test it out. So. Well, I mean, also, this, let me say this, though. I have been in certain markets yeah. where I don't do well at first. Right. You know, the, the club will go, yeah, we, we only sold 150, 200 tickets a show. And then you can get, you can get depressed, but I know this for a fact. Afterwards probably 80 90 percent of the time the club owner or whoever will go we can build here though because your shows were good right right if the shows are good then it doesn't matter what the numbers are in the beginning because there when you come back you'll double it is it the words word of mouth spreading or what is it exactly it, for my shows i don't know what your show is like but yeah. my show is this is is that holy shit people go we didn't think you were going to be that funny Okay. We didn't think that you were going to do this specific thing that I do, right? And they go, I got to bring my friend Joe, Joe next time. Mm-hmm. 
right? And so the next time they bring Joe, mm -hmm. but everyone brings somebody, right? Right? And then you know, and then you go back the fifth or sixth time, and it's you're doing guaranteed business, right? It takes a long time, but that's old school showbiz, mm. and that's what I like about you going on this tour. I'm still on that grind, man. You it's know? not no. It's this is going to be forever for you. Yeah. Okay. I hope. I mean, I hope so. Enjoy. Oh, no, and it hope is not. At it, the same time. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. No. You know what it is? It, here's the thing. You know, I've been. You know, a lot of times I get. I got to go to El Paso this weekend. Yeah, I, I got it on my uh, route to El Paso. Right. So yeah. I'm playing El Paso this weekend, and I don't know what's gonna. I haven't been there in 20 years almost, but you know what? I'm I'm excited about it mm -hmm. because I haven't been there a long time. I don't know what's gonna happen, and also I can show the people that live there that I'm legit too, and I'm gonna show them what I do, and my you know point of view, the way I do it, and so I'm excited. And if if there's only fifty people to show, well, I think a lot of it has to do with I have a show coming out, and I don't really have to rely on it. But my point is, is that, <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> It it's is a the, cool thing. I mean, you know, some of those cities never get shit. You yeah, know what I'm right. saying? So to me, that's a cool thing that you, you actually included them. Mm. You know, they're like these kids sometimes can't ever go. Like they can't drive three, four hours to the next city. You, you know? know what Paulie Shore, you know what he says? What? Dude, you can always make a living. I go, <laughs> how? He goes, look where I'm playing. Patunk dunk Canada. Yeah. Oh, some city you've never heard of. Right, yeah. right. He goes, I'm the only thing that's been there for five years, dude. It's real shit. And so when he shows up at that Holiday Inn, the whole city comes. It's a whole event. It's Yo, a real my talk. point, though, is, is that, you know, do you think he gives a fuck? The difference between Chicago and that, right? Right, right. You go to Chicago. I mean, I, I went to Philadelphia once. I showed up on my first show. I'm not even kidding you. At the Helium, there was 20 people there on a Friday. Oh, and I go, what the fuck? He go, I know, but right across the street is Chappelle. That's <laughs> God. And There's go, a lot of shit. Oh going on. well, I'm gonna fire my agent. <laughs> that happens even in LA. You know, yeah. my LA right. show is slower than a lot of other shows, right? You know, because they have so much shit going on every week. They're yeah. spoiled. They're spoiled. You know what I mean? So it's good to go to these smaller towns and to show them, you know, and give them entertainment. Everyone deserves to get entertained for sure. Anyway, you were a very uh, pleasurable guest. Yep. I really, really enjoyed you. I really did immensely. And oh. um, I've had um, many people on the show, and you were probably one of my biggest surprises. Oh, thank you, man. I just don't, I don't really, I'm not. No, no, no I'm being real. I really enjoyed you. <laughs> I really enjoyed you. No, I took it genuinely. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm being real. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know uh, what the fuck kind of game you're playing. No, I'm not playing I don't any know game. Street I, game you're playing right now, dude. I literally meant but that. I, I take it I, genuinely. What I, what I mean, <laughs> what I was trying to mean is that I legitimately mean. There's no sarcasm that I, whatsoever. Me either. So I'm okay. just saying that you were a really, cool. really good guest. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, we just mind fucked each where can other. We, uh, where can people find your tickets for your tour? Uh, just dumbfounded.com. Dumbfounded.com. Real, real simple. Cool. Uh, do you want to do come back or are we good? Uh, I think we're good. Good. Uh, so, guys, make sure you uh, go on brooklyn.com, uh, promo code belly, get some sheets for yourself. And also, we're on we Spotify. So, don't remember, uh, remember that. We're on Spotify. Open the app on the mobile or desktop, click on the browse channel, and then click on podcast section. You can probably also find dumbfounded uh, music on there as well. Spotify is my favorite. It's the best. It's where all uh, my playlists are at. Also, you could probably follow my playlist. Ooh. I have good ones. So, uh, make sure you follow Tiger Belly on Instagram at Tiger Belly, on Twitter at The Tiger Belly, and email us any questions at thetigerbelly at gmail.com. Have a good one. Bye.